Now let's move to another change that I've been reading about at, at Duke Fuquan, and that is the accelerated MBA program. How is that going to work and who is it for? Yeah, sure. So the accelerated MBA program is a program that I think there's a couple of different benefits, right? So for first of all, for our masters, first of all, this, the program itself is a one-year MBA specifically for individuals who already have a master's in management or either a master's of management studies degree from Fuqua or and or who have a master's in management degree or equivalent from another institution. And so it really is this notion of there are individuals who you know, have studied develop the core competencies around business in, in their particular master's program, but are still looking for that additional leadership capability credentialing, the MBA, right, to further advance their careers, but want to do so in a way that's accelerated, which makes sense. Sure. Not everybody has the capability or, or, or interest even in taking two years out um, of the workforce. And some people want to really continue down the path that they're continuing, but they want the additional credentialing or skill development. And so this accelerated option, we think, will be beneficial to our alumni of our Master's of Management Studies program, um, who have essentially taken, taken much of our core during their 10-month program, have work experience now, right, under their foot, and now want to take their career to the next level. And so this is a great option. It also helps us demonstrate, really, our commitment to lifelong learning for our alumni. So we offer also, you know, free educa exec edu education courses for our alumni, and this is another offering now sure. that our alumni can take advantage of. But we also know that, you know, looking globally, the master's in management degree is a much more um, uh, widespread degree in Europe and other right. places around the world. Right. Right. And so we're looking at that also in terms of, you know, are there individuals who have a master's in management, but also now want to layer on the MBA within you know, a U.S. MBA degree as and work in the U.S. And so this is a great option because it provides that accelerated opportunity to do so. Sure. Um, you know, great investment for them, given that they've already invested in their master's in management uh, degree earlier. You had mentioned, you know, it's it is a degree, though, it's, it's kind of unique from other accelerated MBA programs in that it, you do need to have already a master's in management. And it's not, you can't be a master's of accounting or master's of marketing. It really is kind of a... Just the um, management. That's right. And what about right. the BBA? Right. So, you know, BBAs, if you have only a business, undergraduate business degree, you would not, be, you would not qualify for it. You would need an additional master's in management degree. Uh, from from another institution or our institution in order to really qualify, and the reason is is because the uh, the program essentially is a part of our daytime MBA program, but these individuals have already taken the core courses right the, that are required um, for our daytime MBA program, but that fulfill their master's of management degree. And so what it allows them to do is to come into our daytime MBA program and really take advantage of the electives and go deeper in those electives. And for the year, um, and, and fulfill their degree requirements in, in one year. And when so would they, when would they start in the calendar? When would they start the program? So they start. Yep, they start with the incoming daytime individuals. They still are take, taking part in the summer institute in the new mm -hmm. curriculum that I was telling you about. But what they don't do once our daytime MBA students would start their core curriculum, these you know, our accelerated MBA students are now taking elective courses with the second year students. Right. And then so there's graduate. no internship. There's no internship with the exactly. So. so again, it's the kind of degree where, and, and that's another reason why we, you know, this is a degree where the the individuals should look very similar to the daytime MBA students, right? They have, you know, on average five experience. and a half years of work experience. Yeah. They they are in careers or functions um, where they've been able to 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 do well in. And so it's not as if they may not want to take advantage of and change companies, but they don't need the internship in order to do it, right? So there's their requisite business experience with the degree would allow them to um, be competitive in a full-time um, job market, you know, recruitment. Do you anticipate